What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, that means you know I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Check them out. Check them out. But first, stay on this one. So, let's get right into it. There's a video. Actually, there's going to be another video in regards to this similar, but you'll, you'll get the idea. <clears throat> this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while now, all right? And it's pros and cons of the AK platform and compared to the AR platform. <clears throat> so, Excuse me. I'm going to talk about some of the cool things about the AK platform that the AR platform kind of just doesn't meet up to. But I'm also going to talk about some of the things that, you know, the AK doesn't meet up to and compared to the AR. And then on the next video, I'll, you know, give a more detailed vice versa about the pros and cons of the AR itself compared to the AK. So let's get right into it, though. For starters, and this is a very subjective one. I'll say that right now. But AKs look nicer, man. You're telling me right now that, come on, you're telling me that this, tell me this don't look like a, what, what? AKs look nicer. They look a lot cooler. That's just my thought. That's a very subjective one. I will say that, but I want to get that one out of the way right there. AKs, they just, they, they tickle a spot for me that the AR doesn't. All right, that's the best way to say it. <laughs> All right. Now, as I was saying, though, one of the, you know, pretty uh, cool, you know, pros about the AK is that it's definitely been around a good while longer than the AR-15. Uh, there's no arguing that. So, therefore, it has more, you know, I guess, more of a track record than the AR-15 does, which, if y'all know, I'm all about a good track record. So, let's get, let's get that out of the way. But next is the round that the AK was originally created in, which is a 7.62 by 39 round. Why is this round such a pro? Well, there's pros and cons to that round in particular. I actually did a video in particular talking about just the round. Uh, you haven't seen that, go check it out. But as I was saying before, my entire point was that the round itself is a, it, it packs a punch to it. You know what I mean? This isn't to say that, you know, the 223 or the 556 doesn't pack a punch to it, but the 7.62 by 39 in close distances delivers a lot of energy, which is something you really want. Now, some people might be wondering, well, what distance does the 7.62 by 39 stop delivering, you know, the amount of energy you want on a target? I've heard 300, uh, 300 yards. I could be mistaken there. That's what I've heard simply. I haven't tested that out myself. Uh, let's get that out of the way. I have not tested that out myself. I'm sure there are going to be some people that are like, oh, please, I, I can, you know, I can hit, hit a soda can from a thousand yards away with this 762 by 39, whatever. That's not my point. But the whole point I'm simply getting at is the 762 by 39 round does a pretty damn good job, especially in close distances. That's a huge pro for the AK right there. Now, of course, a con being that it does lose its energy, you know, at a further distance compared to the 556. Uh, but that's not, we haven't gotten to the cons yet. So we're gonna stick on the pros here. Next, something that not a lot of people like to talk about is that the AK mags lock in two places. That's why you have this rock and lock method. You have to sit there, get it in, rock, and then you lock it in. That mag, you know, it's in there. You know that mag is in there. I'm sorry, but there is no, oh, yeah, I have to, you know, smack the bottom of the mag, nothing like that, like you do with an AR. When that mag is locked in place, you know it is in there, and it is definitely going to be a bit more sturdy than an AR mag would be because it, the AR mag only locks in one place. So let's get that out the way as well. Now, <clears throat> some people might be saying, oh, well, these are all very superficial pros. You know, none of these are really the end-all be-all that makes the AK better than the AR. And yes, I agree with you. I'm not sitting here saying which one is better than the other. I personally have my own choice, but regardless, I've made my choice. Uh, now, another thing that I really, really like about the AKs that's a huge pro is simply the fact that one, you know, the dust cover it's such a it's such a huge part when it comes to taking down the AK platform itself when you're field stripping it and even let's say you know something happens something you know you're in the middle of a huge gunfight you're in you're in a war let's say right and just somehow some stuff just gets gummed up in your AK somehow it gets through the dust cover gets gummed up in there 
and you're having a real big issue here. So guess what? You pop that dust cover off, fix the issue. Oh, no, you're getting shot at. Oh, don't worry about putting the dust cover back on. Just start shooting back at them. You don't need the dust cover on for the AK to work. Now, granted, the dust cover on the AR is a very different piece than it is on the AK, and it's much smaller, and realistically speaking, you don't need that for the AR to work either. However, to completely have it, you know, this, you know, just taken off the gun itself with it being as large of a piece as it is, that's a pretty damn, that's a, that's a, that's a pro for sure. You get to see a bit more on the inside of how the AK works. That's awesome. <clears throat> now, I think that about wraps it up for the pros here. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, leaving anything out. Uh, of course, there is the history aspect to it, but I kind of did touch on it. But not fully. I mean, you got to think about it like this, guys. Beyond the fact that the AK-47 platform, well, the AKM platform was created in 1947, a ton of different countries adopted the AKM platform. So you're not, you know, like, you, that's why AK guys are, you know, as autistic as they are about AKs. Is that it's like, oh, well, you know, you, 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 have, a, you have a Romanian receiver here and then you have a, a a Bulgarian bear, like they, they will go into every single piece and part of your AK and dissect it and break it down and then have an autism attack. Okay. So there's a history aspect to it, depending on if you're, you know, a purist, like a lot of AK guys are. So let's, that, that's a pro here, but moving on to the cons when compared to the AR platform, right? One of them I already stated is that the 762 by 39 round does not deliver as much energy at a further distance than, for example, the 556 round. Now, another one is that, and I actually spoke about this when I did my first first thoughts on the AK-103 video, uh, that yes, while with a majority of your, you know, your AKMs that, you know, your, a majority of them really, the safety on them is a bit stiff. This is not the case, so this is really a bad, not a great example. It's a bad example, but I do understand that argument and can agree there that a majority of AKMs, your standard AKMs, not you know, not more advanced ones like the AK 103s, 104s, whatever, uh, but a majority of your standard AKMs, the the manual safeties on them are going to be a bit more difficult to you know to operate than your you know an ar-15 would be that that is just the truth here uh now actually you know one more pro i do want to add about the ak platform real quick that didn't come to mind is that a majority of people you know just from seeing movies and video games know how this platform works if you get the mag in here you just rack the charging handle and you you get shooting now of course it's the same thing for the ar platform however it's just that more people you know they they know the AK platform more simply due to Hollywood, movies, video games, whatever. Now, that's getting off topic here. Back to the cons, though, all right? I, I can see people's aspect, you know, with the manual safety of, oh, yeah, it, it is a bit more difficult to operate than an AR's would be. That is 100% true. Now, another con, and this is one I didn't want to, you know, as an AK guy, I don't want to admit it, but it is true, is that AKs are just not as accessible as ARs are. That is 100% truth here. And while I would love to say, oh yeah, well, you know, you can change the stock on this AK, you can change the grip, you can change whatever, you can change all of that and much more on ARs. I will say that. I'm, you know, making sure the microphone's on. I, I am, you know, man enough to say that, that the AR platform is a lot more customizable than the AK platform is. And that's a, you know, that is definitely a con for the AK platform. And why is that? Is because more customizability means there's going to be more parts from more brands. Chances are it means that the firearm is definitely more popular than, you know, a majority of other guns are. Now, why is that such a big deal? Is getting parts for it super easy. Something that people often overlook when it comes to this is that, let's say, you know, a gunfight happens and, you know, you and your team or whatever, right? And you know, a couple people and their team over there, right? You know, y'all are shooting at each other. One of them has an AR. Guess what? <laughs> Let's say, you're, you know, your bolt breaks, right? Somebody downs the guy with the AR. Y'all go in there. You got a new bolt right there, bro. You, got, you can put, put that new bolt carrier group in there. You're good. 
You know what I mean? You have, you have, my point is that the AK platform, nowhere near as easily customizable as the AR platform. And while you can customize it to an extent, not to the extent that you can with the AR platform, though. That's where people kind of, you know, I have to admit it. it. That's where people get upset. <clears throat> is it possible to customize an AK? Yes. Is it more work than customizing your AR? Also, yes. So the, let that sit there. And I think that about wraps it up for this video. I mean, realistically speaking, you know, the, the, the AK platform is pretty cool. So is the AR platform. That's why I'm doing these videos is to talk about both. Because while I personally have my choice on what I like more, I know some people are going to think differently. So we might as well talk about the objective pros and cons to it. Now, with that being said, y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And whether or not you agree with me, make sure to check out all my other videos. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.